Hello Libras and welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne here to give you the messages for the month of July. We're going to take a look at Libra Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. It is a general reading. Whatever I see, hear, feel that comes through me, the messages come through me and I will relate them through the cards for you. So Libras, we have this amazing energy. I keep being guided back to you and this is what I'm feeling. The Nine of Swords, you may be walking away from somebody or something that has really worn you out. And it could be the emotional attachment to whatever you used to love, because that's what the Eight of Cups is really about. Walking away from something we invested in our energy, our love, our heart, or we put everything into it and we didn't get back what we thought now this could be some of you like i said walking away from a job that wasn't paying you enough you do have the six of pentacles that came out equal reciprocity okay that's somebody taking a little bit more than they should which is why you have the nine of wands on the bottom so what you're being guided to do is take that six of pentacles and really analyze everything about that situation. And Libra, when you do, you're going to see what, what was the, uh, what was the one thing that was pulling it backwards? It could be the entire situation. It could be one person lingering in the background, talking into somebody's ear that literally destroyed everything around it, putting all that weight on you, right? The Nine of Wands is worn out, tired of dealing with it. You've been overworked. You're probably going through a lot where they're throwing a lot of responsibility on you in your job. Working long hours, picking up other people's shifts because they can't come into the office, but you've got your shots so you can, right? That kind of a situation. Well, with this card, this is about moving forward, and that's what I feel you're gonna do in the month by the end of July, rolling into the beginning of August. You're literally going to walk away from whatever has been doing that to you. The Eight of Cups, you're gonna go get your Ninth Cup. So by the time we hit your birthday, you watch, it's gonna be a lot of nines around you as you roll into your birthday season because you are literally gonna start a new beginning and it is gonna be really good. Why? Because you understand if you overgive, they will keep taking and not reward you. So it has to be give and take, give and take. Not I'll give you 20 and then they walk away. I've done it, I've done it a lot. And that's what flips us upside down. And we do it for those that we love. The people we love, we allow them to overstep boundaries that we set for others that we don't have the same type of love. And we like to refer to that as unconditional love, but that's not unconditional love, right? So I just feel like so much growth and knowledge has come in on a spiritual level, but life in general, like just discovering the awareness of the world, the deception that was around you in your own personal life, and that's how we figure out our role in humanity, right? So we have the death card. You're literally gonna end whatever's been wearing you out. You do have the little, the little Prince of Cups here, and the Prince of Cups has a little bit of an evil streak about them, right? There's a little bit of deception attached to whatever this situation, this person is. For some of you, it could be family, most definitely, but it can be anybody in your life, again, or anything that you threw all your all into, even your entire career. Now we do have the zodiac sign of Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces here. I also feel that Taurus is in this as well as Aries and you may be dealing with a fellow Gemini air sign as well. So let's see who else pops out along the way. Now, as a detail card, we have the Nine of Swords, and this is absolute fear, anxiety. Some of you, you may be going through the dark night of the soul, or that's what you did go through. And for some of you, this is your partner going through it, all right? You've already done it. That's why you can recognize this, and that's why you're saying, you know, this doesn't feel right. I'm gonna move forward from whatever this situation is. With this, this is saying you have a lot of strife or this person is going through some heavy, heavy 
emotional energy. They may be suffering from a little bit of depression, emotional and mental uh, depression, as well as fatigue because they are not sleeping up all night. You might even have a partner that's actually kind of like, uh, um, I don't want to say hallucinating, but it may look that way, but they're, 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 they're like, things are moving when they're not really moving because of the fatigue attached to them and it may very well be you libra if you've been overworked and that's what we're talking about this is probably you so when we get into that really low vibration and we can't sleep it's just a constant repetitive cycle we can't sleep we take sleeping medicine then we don't sleep and then we want to sleep when we're not supposed to sleep and it goes on and on and on until we're able to get up and walk away and that's what you're going to do so if you're having some insomnia i think you're going to get that nipped in the bud some of you are going to actually meet up with a counselor for sure um, to get that taken care of whether it me or anyone else that can help you in this situation. The seven of swords is the mental thought process. Swords represent our thoughts, our thinking. It also represents, it can, a very low vibrational energy, which is what this card is. So whatever wore you out, again, there was that form of deception around it. And you may be very well dealing with somebody in your work environment or even in a relationship that was stabbing you in the back, kind of sabotaging this energy. But equally with the Seven of Swords, although it has such a negative connotation to it, right? You can take from that what actually was a lesson, a valuable lesson for you and walk away with it to get your ninth cup. Again, you've got the Eight of Cups. Remember, I said by the, by the time your birthday season rolls around, you're gonna be seeing a lot of nines. Right now, you're gonna be seeing a lot of eights in the month of July rolling into August, a lot of eights, and then it'll move into nines, etc. So you're actually in this group, you literally are gonna be starting a new sector, a new chapter of your life. You're gonna be pushing that wheel of fortune and changing your destiny by the end of the year. You're holding on to your dreams, whatever you're dreaming, you're actually holding on to it. For some of you, this was very challenging again because you did have a lot of love for this. This is the career that you were willing to work 24 seven to work your way up the ranks, but you just couldn't do it because it's too much on you. And when we overdo it, when we get used and abused in a work environment, we just don't want to do it anymore. You know? And it could very well be like that. But the good thing is you are going to walk away from it. You're going to go get your nine. You're going to get your nine of cups. You're going to get your nine of wands. Is resting, knowing that I can enjoy my nine of cups. You're going to get all your nines coming in. So it's a very beautiful, beautiful opportunity coming in, but you're going to need to make up your mind when it comes to whatever this offer or this person is that's coming in. This situation is going to either trigger you to complete your transformative journey, or it's going to hold you in a stuck pattern and keep you in, if this is you, it's going to keep you in this. And some of you are going to stay with the person who is in this state until they recover is what I'm hearing. Ooh, that's a lot of energy. That is really heavy. We're going to take a look at L-O-V-E. We're going to throw some of that in here because some of this is about love. It truly is. And I know we don't want to hear it, but a lot of us have been separated for a year. I mean, almost all my clients have almost no friends left at all. And that is not abnormal. It doesn't mean that they're gone, gone, but they haven't heard from them in a long time. They just kind of like aren't speaking. So we're going to be reconnecting with a lot of people. Let your friends help when it comes to a relationship. So if this is a relationship that you're currently in that has worn you out, if this is the job that has worn you out, allow your friends to help you. And if you've recently gone through your own transformative uh, energy and coming into who you're meant to be, Libra, allow your friends to help you when you are trying to navigate and find your way into the new path. You're gonna see the people around you are the ones meant for you, and that's what a lot of us are seeing. And they aren't anybody we thought it would be, not our family necessarily, not our best friend, but it is somebody very loyal, and this is somebody who is gonna have your back. 
Okay, so it's gonna be beautiful, whether this is new love or the renewed love with that nine of wands. It's going to be good. It's, it's finally picking a partner where the two of you get along and you're on the same page. Now we have the card of Bethany and Bethany is all about taking good care of your body. Bethany comes out when the Nine of Wands comes out because the Nine of Wands, again, is about feeling very uh, fatigued. I am so worn out. You know, you guys have seen me. There have been times my face was gray because I was trying to heal from cancer. All of this and I was out there with you. There are times I was a little wobbly because I used all my energy outward. And then I had to come back in with that Nine of Wands and we have to rejuvenate and heal us in order to go back out there. And that's what I feel a lot of you have actually done. Now I'm gonna pull one more message for you guys because I just feel like whatever this is, is, is that one moment you've been really waiting for. Whether that's making the final decision, you know, with this Two of Swords, which direction am I gonna go? There's a lot of fear and there is a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of apprehension is the word I'm hearing when it comes to making this final decision. Rightfully so, again, there was a lot of love and we don't want to make the wrong decision when we have love. Now you have the card of imagination that flew out and imagination can't be more clear than that. For those of you that I said you know something's coming, you may have turned down other opportunities waiting for this. Using your imagination to create and manifest what it is you truly desire. And some of you are gonna learn how to do that. Maybe you're gonna work with me, someone else, but you are gonna learn how to do that. So Libras, I hope this helps you guys throughout the month. And don't forget, I'll be uploading videos every week. So don't worry about it being short. This is really for that first part of July. Please thumbs up and allow other Libras to hear the message so we can all help humanity. Much love.